Y'all bitches talking about B is for bi. You can shout it out loud. I like more than one gender, and that makes me proud. B, boys shall be boys and do boy things. B, for bring me that motherfucking notebook and let me see your motherfucking ABCs. B, be motherfucking quiet and sit your ass down and stay in a kid's motherfucking place. If these the kind of books they gonna be reading to my motherfucking son in school, I might as well just teach him from home. Cause it ain't no way in hell y'all really think that this fuck shit is okay. B is for basketball, bounce, books, behavior, be careful, shit like that. Not no motherfucking bisexual for no little boy. These motherfuckers can barely read, even brush their motherfucking teeth. But you got them reading a book about being motherfucking bisexual. These babies can't even chew up a motherfucking steak properly. But y'all teaching them how to take a dick and suck an ass. That shit is crazy, gang. Y'all got to do better and leave our motherfucking kids alone. B for bring our children back. From the gay guy's mouth. Yeah. I love to it. To our ears. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Yeah, he told the truth there. He did. He did. Yeah, but so I sent that video to a uh, a friend um, because she she has young kids and I wanted to show her, she's a new mom, that um, this is what are some of the books that are out there that they're showing or giving young kids in, in lower school and in, in kindergarten, things like that. So all I did was send her that video and take a look at what she responded to. This is photo number one. She says, oh goodness, please don't send me stuff like this. I come on Instagram for positivity only. Then she says, I'm voting for Kamala. Nothing will change my mind, so no need to try. <laughs> and as you can see, I responded, I said, the post didn't mention Kamala Harris. <laughs> I sent it to show the books they are trying to push on kids, but whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, this, again, I didn't mention Kamala Harris. This is a, a, a young, this is a young lady that's supposed to be a Bible-believing Christian, mm. okay? <laughs> and that is her response. She's voting for Kamala no matter what. And I get that from a lot of black women. That's yeah. because they still are very, very, they have this PTSD or whatever it is from, from their slaving, their, their, their oppression that they want to have, this victimhood. They want to feel like, oh, finally we've got something. Finally we've, we, we're able to do something as black women. Not realizing, like the man say, you need to be back in the kitchen <laughs> and be back home raising your children. That's what you can be doing. But no, you want to be the president and you're going to fuck up the whole world because you have issues, mental issues. But we have to address black women. Uh, you know, Beyonce has just come out. There were there rumors that she is going to the for the first time. Uh, mm -hmm. She's going to support uh, endorse a candidate for president. It looks like she's going to endorse Kamala, yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, and then we have, you know, black women are leading the charge you know, for Kamala Harris. <laughs> and you know, it's like everything else be damned. You have black women leading communities. You know, most black uh, families are led by black women, single black uh, mothers. And so I asked the question, are they leading us down a path of disaster? Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, what are you gonna say? Well, I mean, I, I want to say and that I'm not saying every when I say black women, I'm saying in general, general you yeah. know, and I know not all black women are doing this. Right. But. In general, I think black women are leading the country right now. Oh, because it's, it's, it's damn sure not Joe Biden, because where has he been? Right. <laughs> black women are leading the Democrat Party. They're leading. They're following behind Kamala Harris blindly. I don't think these I, I have started a couple years ago and more and more. I don't think it's that they're stupid or foolish or whatever the word is anymore. I think they know exactly what they're doing. I mean, I don't think they understand the consequences because they think they're voting for themselves in their best interest. Right. But I think they don't, are doing what they're doing because this is what they actually believe is good for them. Yeah, they it's, do. Uh, they do. So it's hard to say that they're just stupid. I, I mean, I've said that and I think they are, don't get me wrong, but they are doing it calculated because this is in their best interest to get the women's whatever power and, and clout and, and 
Kamala Harris or whatever, like you said, they see themselves in this position of, oh, she's doing this for us and it reflects back on me or, or the black woman and that means we have owls. We got owls. And clearly... Let me ask you this though, because, you know, I'm not, ta I'm talking about these women who claim to be Bible believing Christians who don't like, who don't agree with be pushing LGBT mm -hmm. on kids, you know, don't agree with the open borders. At least that's what they say. We, you know, this is Kamala Harris's number one priority. She is not hiding it. All they talk about is abortion mm -hmm. and uh, LGBT. Mm -hmm. And so you have these black women who say, I don't agree with that, but yet they say, I'm voting for her no matter what. Where's the disconnect? They're blinded. They're blinded by identity politics. Right. They're blinded by the fact that she's a black woman. They're blinded by the fact that she's an AKA and she went to HBCU, not realizing that doesn't make you black. And that doesn't mean all skin folk, like they want to say, all skin folk ain't kin folk. That doesn't mean that she's going to do what? you need to do in your best interest. It's just representation to say, oh, we have a black woman in, in as a president. That's yeah. it. That, that's all it said. No, you're right. That is all it says. But it ultimately it goes back. And I would just say uh, all of us in the country in general, how obsessed we are with quote unquote race. First of all, there's only one race, the human race. OK, which is why I call myself a human American. But anyway, nevertheless, there's only that, one but... race. There's only a human race. There are ethnicities. There are different um, skin colors or whatever. But we are so obsessed with oh your skin is this color and your skin is this color and this one it's it's an obsession it is if you want to call it a delusion mm -hmm. it is ultimately um anti-human because that means you are categorizing people only based on the way they look that's the lowest level of human dignity or treatment that you can have oh they don't care about humans they care more about dogs even black women okay. now they care more about dogs and pets than they do humans because i've heard many a few black people say that they if they can just go in a box or go in a house with their cats and their dogs and not have to ever deal with humans they would love that but that's another subject yeah <laughs> i mean so the, the, to me, then the the black community is doomed yep. because it's you, been that. Yeah, because when you think <laughs> about it, you know the black black families are predominantly raised <laughs> by saying. single mothers, by women. You know, and we are seeing an awakening within men. Mm -hmm. Black men. Yeah, little, finally, like, right. thank you, black no. men. Yes, they don't lead most of these these families. They don't have the jobs. First, well, the, black women, and, and as we're going to see, if this woman becomes president, there's a lot of black women who are entrepreneurs, who are CEOs, and all this. But they don't make the room for the black men. You're right. The black men aren't leaving the house, leaving the households. They're not leading positions they're not leading so right. black well, men need to leading that's this, this exactly community. so now i want to see the black men step up and not vote for kamala harris and but i will say that president trump needs to step up his policies like more people are saying well what is trump going to do about it he's not being he's not being very clear no. on his the media his is policy running cover for her she has not one policy well, she hasn't, yeah. one policy on her page no. has she talked about all she does is hackles and cackles yeah, and true. you know whatever she does uh, unburden all of her whatever foolishness terrible trump's policies are there the media is running cover for her that should be a clue like they're not even asking her questions i mean what is she talking about except for cackling yeah, well, it, it, they, she doesn't have to because you heard what she, the lady said. My friend said, I'm voting for doesn't Kamala matter no matter what. Yeah. And that's not a one-off. This no, is not. what most black women mm -hmm. believe. They do not care about policy. They do not care about their their uh, the way they're living, the, the whole the sexualization of children. They don't care. It's Kamala or bust. And they don't care about the country because someone oh, pointed out, someone pointed out that for the Kamala rallies, there are no American flags in the background. Oh, there's all, so there's only there, there's only the, her name. There are no American flags, and the people in the that are in the rally, they all have her signs. Yeah. No American flags, so it's, it's definitely it's not. They don't care about the country. No, they don't. Oh no, no. Uh, it's they or the care, people in it. The only thing it, it seems to me that they care about is Kamala is black and she's a woman. and she's a woman that's it and they're going to vote for her just because of that and then they so, don't want to say it's not dei hire right. 
No, it's not. It's, it's definitely not. a DIY. And this is why it's so important to me, at least in my opinion, that the right Republicans get off of these identity politics mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. that is not the cure. It's not. It's not going to help no. if Trump goes out and says, "I'm doing this for the black community. I'm mm-hmm. doing this for the Hispanic community." Thing like that. Who? What are you doing to make America Americans great better again? Across the board, mm-hmm. because feeding into the identity politics, yeah, it's gonna make it, worse. it does. It, it, it just keeps work, that cycle going gonna, back and forth. Yeah. Right? They're, they're not going to yeah. vote for him anyway, based off of exactly. That. And they're going to use it. They're going to always, you know, position it as if he is racist. They're going to find that angle. But this is what I was. I'm going to start asking black women who who are so in in love with Kamala. Well, if she's such for the sisterhood, why didn't she pick a black woman to run with her? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she want to elevate black women up. Why not? Why she pick a white man? Yeah, I, I, it's true. I mean, but the, for the bottom line is, you know, and it's not so much. It's it, it's black Americans. Oh no, I know. I'm just it's saying, black I'm, Americans. Yeah. You don't find this, or at least I don't see it in the Hispanic community. When I talk to Latinos, <laughs> they're talking about, oh, well, you know, um, I, they don't want these uh, illegal immigration either. No, they don't. Yeah. And number two, they want to know how can I get at least amount of taxes to run my businesses, exactly. yes. you know, the entrepreneurship, things like that. So it really is sad. They're not even talking about the economy. No. They're just talking about her being a black woman. Right. Like, what about all the she important has things? Not given one interview. Um, she's gone to the rallies. She's not. Um, the media hasn't asked her questions. All of these, what is it, white dudes and black dudes For and her, black women, yeah. all these, raising all this money. Okay, I I do think she's on a little honeymoon period because she yeah, just announced or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Um, honeymoon. But, Honeymoon, where she's, where she's gaining too. in the rate, in oh, gaining right euphoria, now. Euphoria, right. so to speak. Right now, I think she is. I think it's going to come down. But the Republicans outside Trump, we need to be focused. We need to be serious. And I don't care. Come at them hard with policy. Challenge her. Go to that debate. I don't know if she's going to show up. Uh, she says she's not. I think. Right. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go for. I wouldn't go to that debate. I would. I like that he has decided. Oh, to, to, I'm telling you, have a debate. A different one. Yeah, right? whatever. Yeah. Have a debate. I'm saying yes. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I wouldn't go to that. But I mean, guys, I wouldn't want to hear from you all. You know, in the comments here. I mean, what do you think on this idea of of black women? I mean, again, you, they continue to push this narrative of it's Kamala, no matter what. I don't care what she says. I don't care what she doesn't say. I don't care what she does. You know, it's Kamala because she's black and because she's a female. And this is detrimental. This is not good. It's very destructive.